I'm Ryan Vanderplatz, and I'm Product Manager for Management Information Systems with Trimble Solutions. Looking at the estimate IFC import enhancements in greater detail, the, this will allow us to update the IFC and add items to an estimate based on GUID. Previously, um, you could only import one IFC file into each estimate, so this allows revisions and additions to be made. Um, the mapping of IFC property sets allows us to take information that already exists in the IFC and map them to uh, whatever field you want in Tecla EPM estimating. And we're going to look at uh, weld type mapping. So the different welds that come through in your IFC model from the, the various detailing software, including Tecla structures, can now be mapped to the proper weld within EPM. And all of this is meant to increase your accuracy, especially when you're doing estimodeling. Let's take a look at some of the new IFC import enhancements for estimating by importing a file into an estimate. And um, we're going to be taking a look at field mapping of IFC properties. Um, let me go ahead and make a new job to import this into. And this feature will allow us to map the field properties that exist in an IFC file to fields in our estimate. Um, and so here we see all of the different properties that are listed in a, this particular IFC file. I'm going to go down to this additional property set and use the name and I'm going to map it to my subcategory. So I hit set to map it and I'm also going to hit new so that I can use this again next time. So I'm going to call this detailer one and hit OK and save so I can use it again next time. As that's importing, let's take a look at our uh, weld type mapping. So when we take a look at welds in the system, if we go to weld type maintenance, we have a new uh, addition to the screen, which is weld type maintenance, which tells you when you import an IFC file, all the different weld types from detailing software, including Tecla structures, um, where they'll be mapped to. So all of these different types of weld will be mapped to fill it weld manual inside of EPM. Additionally, as we do this import, we've also um, We've also enhanced how you bring in IFC files a second time. So if you bring in an IFC file into this job for a second time over the top, it used to be that it would just double up the material. Now it will use the GUIs to check and make sure that you're only updating and adding new members. So a good addition there. And when you bring it in the second time, it will change. You have the opportunity to change the status of that particular line item when it's changed um, to be reviewed again. So our estimate is complete. Let's go ahead and open it up and let's take a look at our results. So if we scroll down to W, we can see that that naming field was used as subcategory when we did the import. Additionally, the in estimating company standards, you have the opportunity to say on an IFC import, if an item has been updated, you can select from your drop down list to say that. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say that it needs to be verified for material and labor again if an item has been updated on a second import. 